What's going on guys? Today we're going to be breaking down the Cronova Foam Lens Kit. Let's do it. Welcome back to another video here on my channel guys. I'm starting it in vlog format. Just about to jump over to my table right here and review the camera phone lens kit by Cronovo. If you're interested in video production, AKA video editing, videography, or how to make money making videos, subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, we're jumping into this crazy review. This right here is two high quality lenses. It is the 128 degrees super wide angle and the 20 times macro zoom. We're gonna be jumping into a quick out the box unboxing, then a quality test, hands on review and comparison to some other lenses, and then we'll come back for a final review. Let's start with what's in the box. Overall, I'm gonna quickly take this apart and it looks like we have a protective case in here. Boom, pulling out the protective case, putting this right here. And it is, of course, shock resistant. So if we're dropping this, it's not gonna be damaging it. It's got a little, um, what's called, a key ring holder type of thing where you could clip it onto either a bag or a key ring or, well, it might be a little bit too big for a key ring to be honest, but let's actually go ahead and unzip the pouch. When we've unzipped it, I'm gonna pull this one open and stuff is pretty nicely organized in here. So first off, this right here is looking like this is the 120 degree super with the 20 times macro and these are stackable right here so in fact the 128 degrees super wide angle is screwed onto the 20 times macro and the lens cap is on top so you could of course just screw these apart and just like that you just kind of screw them apart you've got the 20 times macro with the 128 degrees super wide angle right here and i'm looking through it into the camera and of course we have two clips, varying sizes of the holes it looks like. So we got this clip right here, which is a bigger clip with a kind of big hole. And then we have a smaller, shorter clip with a smaller, shorter uh, actual hole to let in less light. Also we have a cleaning rag, basically just something to do the wiping when this thing's getting a little bit smudged. And of course we have another lens cap for the actual back of this so that will be on the other end of the actual 20 times macro and then of course we just have some instructions an instruction manual <laughs> i think i just accidentally ripped it i did we got an instruction manual which is going to detail the uh, you know how to actually put this on and then of course a little bit of info on what the lenses will actually look like and that essentially details the what's in the box section overall we've completely unboxed it now let's jump over to the how it works section and break down how this actually works and also compare it to some other phone lenses that i've got which are a little bit on the cheaper side all right what's going on guys so i'm recording with the regular camera on the iphone 5s this right here is the 128 degree wide angle and i'm about to clip it right on to the front and there you have it the 128 degree wide angle boom so again this is going to be another 128 degree wide angle this is my desk on regular and now this is my desk with the 128 degree wide angle you can already see so much more and i'm just going to take it off to show you what it looks like before you instantly lose that computer a bit of the wall overall you can definitely see a lot less and here we go test number two this is going to be with the 20 times macro onto the front. So I guess I have to kind of zoom in a little bit more. It's going to zoom us like that, but unless we're kind of pretty close, it's not going to be focusing, right? So if I'm really close like that, for example, on my eyes, it could focus. Everything's blurry. However, if we get much closer, it is extremely good quality. And just like that, we're able to go pretty close to stuff and everything is in really good quality. We just got to go really close to it. And as you can see with these right here, we are really able to get this 20 times macro zoom, but you've got to be pretty close to the subject of what you're talking about or what you are trying to shoot and gather footage of. Great, and now I'm about to jump over to a side-by-side -side comparison to show you what some of the cheaper lenses that I've got before. I'm gonna try to find them, the MPAL phone lenses. They're in here in my gear somewhere. Um, I'm not too sure where on this shelf they are, but I'm gonna find them and we're gonna do a comparison. Okay, so these right here are the two Cronova lenses compared to the MPAL 
clip-on lenses. Now the clip-on lenses are first off far smaller and far less high quality. You can already see on the lens right there, it looks very plastic. These ones right here are metal. Now let's jump over to a comparison of the actual quality itself from the camera. And there we have it guys, you've made it to this point in the video, which means you enjoyed. Check out the product, link below in the description. My final thoughts, these are really high quality, honestly. Um, especially, especially this 128 degree wide angle. This right here really has some weight to it. It feels much more high quality than some other phone lenses that I've had in the past. And uh, you know, you can really feel the heavy metal finish. Overall, I'm gonna give this probably like a, a nine out of 10 for phone lenses. Um, you know, this is definitely not feel, uh, it's not feeling as cheap as some of the other ones that I've had and some of the ones that I maybe just compared it to in the comparison section. But overall, um, my review here is if you've got the money, it's worth it if you're interested in this stuff. However, there are bundles that are gonna give you more than just two lenses for maybe even a little bit cheaper. So it's really up to you in the end. But in terms of quality, really high quality. Overall, the lens just feels luxury it feels really nice and for the price which is only about 15 pounds to 30 bucks you're uh you know you're gonna be getting you know some some nice lenses that are definitely worth the money thank you guys for watching the video i've been jack have a nice day and take it easy